Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. You won't be seeing this until the day after, but this is Easter for me today. So happy Easter to all of you celebrating. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope it was a wonderful weekend for you guys. This is going to be my monthly update for Project 10 Uses. The whole concept of this project is to pick 10 items from your collection, use them 10 times, track your usages, and once you get to the 10 use mark, they can roll out and something new can roll in. It's been a great way for me to rotate through products that I didn't necessarily want to put in like project pans to try and finish, or for products that are hard to set goals with that are like... There's just some products that you just don't know a goal to set if you don't want to finish it. Um, or maybe items that I just didn't want to commit to finishing. So this has been a wonderful project to do. I've been doing it forever. I don't know what update it is, but it's got to be like number 60 or something. It's, it's, it's a pretty high number. And because of this project, I have had the opportunity to use 130 items that might not have been used otherwise. I've also decluttered a couple things. I moved a couple things directly from Project 10 uses to a project where I did end up finishing the item. So it has been lovely. I like this project a lot. I did hit the 10 use mark on three items for this month. So three items are gonna be rolling out. Let's start with those first. I hit the 10 use mark on my J'adore perfume. J'adore from Dior. I'm wearing it today for the 10th time. This is a scent I wore a lot in the mid 90s and I haven't used it in ages. So it was really fun to like reconnect with the scent but also reconnect with the mid 90s because you know how scents are. They kind of take you back to that place where you remember wearing that scent. And yeah, this took me back to the mid 90s which was a fun little trip. This perfume has a considerable amount used up but there's still a lot of product in there and for now it's going to go back in my little perfume cabinet in the bathroom i also hit the 10 use mark on this lamarck liquid lip crayon from mark jacobs in the shade slow burn burn notice i always want to call it slow burn but it's burn notice it is the shade i'm wearing right now i'm wearing it for the 10th time I liked this shade a lot more in the fall. I'm not feeling it at all right now, so I'm really happy to have hit the 10 use mark and not be carrying it over throughout the spring because I'm just feeling lighter shades that are pinker and, you know, I'm just, I'm not into these kind of cinnamony tones now that fall and winter are done and over with. But I did enjoy this pencil very much. Uh, oh, I made a mess. Oh, well. That's it rolled all the way down. So I got quite a bit of usage on it and it's lovely. And the third item that I hit the 10 use mark on is my little highlighter from Fenty Beauty. This is the Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots. I love this, but I don't feel comfortable wearing this to work. It is a little too sparkly in my opinion, in my humble opinion. This is a little too much for me to wear to work every day. And that was the problem. If it wasn't for that, if I wasn't going to a real job, I would wear this every single day because I think it is amazing and I love it very much. But yeah, it's just a super, super sparkly product. And I love it because it's super sparkly, but I didn't want to wear it to work because it's super sparkly. So I did hit the 10 uses on it. I'm not wearing it today because I hit the 10 uses on it a few days ago, but I enjoyed it very much. And I'm, I'm so glad to own this. Like... Every once in a while, I come across a makeup product and I'm like, I'm just so happy to have you here. And I feel that way about this. Like, I'm just so happy you're mine. So I'm um, really glad I got to use it 10 times. Okay, so obviously there are seven products rolling over for another month. I've pulled out my little tally sheet to tell you how many uses I have on them. And we'll just take it from the top. The first one is my Rowan Disco Eye. Still at three uses, which I'm pretty sure is where I was last month. Um, just haven't used it. There it is right there. So three uses on that one. Seven more to go. Next is T Rose from Victoria Beckham. I am up to four uses on this. I did use it once within the past month, and I really enjoyed it. I like to throw the matte shade from my Smashbox Duo in my crease and then just put this all over my lid and that's it. 
It's a really simple eye look that is beautiful. I am up to five uses with my Chantecai lipstick. I had this on in a video recently and you guys said the nicest things to me about it. Thank you. It's just a pretty like orangey red with a little bit of pink in it. It is a gorgeous shade and um yeah, it's not my, it's not a go-to for me. I don't wear reds. It's not my comfort color. Um, but for for whatever reason, the brighter colors, the reds and the pinks really pop on in video. And so even if I'm kind of self-conscious about wearing it from day to day, it translates really well in videos. So I do try to use these on the days that I'm filming videos. Okay, these next four products are all newer into the project. First of all, I have White Russian from Buxom. I've used this four times now. Um, great product, a little bit tingly. I almost was caught off guard by the tingle. It was a little shocking, but I can handle it. But yes, definitely a little tingly. It's just a pretty shade. Sometimes I wear it on its own. Sometimes I wear it on top of something else, but it is just a great lip gloss to have. I've only used my L'Oreal pigment in the shade Gilded Envy once so far. I loved the look that I, you know, created it. It was just a basic kind of like warm colors in the crease and this green shade on the lid. But yeah, only one use. I really want to pair the shade with my blue that's in my Gigi Pan My Battleship. Remind me to do that. I want to pair those two together and see how they look. Next is my Bite Beauty lipstick in Glacé. I've used this four times now. This is a little bit darker than I remember it being, but I still love it. I mean, every single time I wear it, I'm like, dang, that is a good looking lipstick. It is just so pretty, but it's a little bit darker than I remember it being. So four uses on that, six to go. And the last product rolling over is this little pot of tinted lip balm from e.l.f. in the shade Pink Grapefruit. No, just Grapefruit. And it is a very tinted lip balm. It's very pretty. And did I say how many uses? Three. I've got three uses on this so far, so seven more to go. I do have to be careful with this. I tend to, when I put on a lip balm, I tend to kind of instinctively like, mash my lips together, but you can't really do this with that because you will get like clown mouth if you mash your lips together too much. So I have to remember that despite the fact that this feels like a balm and it, it you know, it seems like it's a balm, I can't just go, mm, you know, with my lips and <laughs> smear it all around because it's not a good look. Okay, now is the time where I'm gonna show you the three products that are rolling into the project starting today. And a lot of times I tend to replace items with similar items. So for example, because I hit the 10 uses on this perfume, I would oftentimes replace it with another perfume, but I don't wanna replace it with another perfume because I really wanna make some good progress on my body spray that is in my deck of panning project. So I didn't wanna roll in another perfume. And then um, I hit, I hit the 10 use mark on this highlighter, but I don't want to replace it with another highlighter because good Lord, I am finally down one highlighter and I can start dividing my time between only four highlighters instead of five. And I'm very excited about that. And then same thing with the lipstick. I have way too many lip products and projects and I want to focus on one less lip product for a few months. I'm sure I'll roll another lip product in at some point, but for this next month, I really didn't want to bring in another lip product to replace it. So I chose three completely different products to bring into this project. The first one is kind of under a time crunch and that is the Too Faced Bronzed and Poreless Pore Perfecting Bronzer. Um, I pulled this into my Spring Shop My Stash because this is a very, very light shade. In fact, it was so light that I had it in my setting powder inventory for many years before I just realized it says bronzer right on the cover. But um, I don't think this is going to, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but I don't think this is going to work for me once I start getting a tan. So I think it's kind of a now or never. I'm currently using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer 
And that's a little bit dark for me right now, but I can make it work. I just have to be very light handed with it. But I think this would be a much better color match for me at this time of year when I'm basically at my palest. So I want to bring this one in. It's never been used. I could still see the, the print of the fabric that was used to press this on the powder. So I've never used this even once and I've owned it for years. So I'm really excited to try this out. If you're wondering, this has zero smell. That is very rare for a Too Faced product, but this is a Too Faced product with no scent. Nothing. The next product I'm bringing in is a setting powder. This is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Plus. I had this for years. I brought this into my spring. All these products were in my spring shop, my stash. I'll stop saying that over and over again. Um, I've told the story before, but this is a product that was in my like travel makeup bag when I was going to the gym every morning before work. I stopped going to the gym every morning before work when I was right before I gave birth to my son nine years ago, nine and a half years ago. It might have been nine and a half years since the last time I used this powder. I'm not sure. But it does have a lot of usage. It's very flattened out. This is, you know, a MAC domed baked product. And it's, the dome is leaving. It's still got a lot of product in there. But I haven't used this in ages. And I am getting closer and closer to finishing off the powder that I'm currently using as an all-over setting powder. So I figured I would try this out for 10 uses and see if I might want to start working on this next after I finish the powder I'm currently working on more consistently than 10 uses. And the final product I'm rolling in for this month, I just rolled in because I just looked at it and I thought, you're cute and I want I want to wear you. I want you on my face. And that is this Physician's Formula Blush in the shade Natural. Do you remember these? This is the Happy Booster. I think, yeah, Happy, Burst, Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. Oh my goodness. I first heard about these from watching Emily Noel back in the day. And um, I bought this based on her recommendation. And it is just adorable. And it's been used, but not much. I mean, it's a product this old should be a lot more loved than it currently is. So I do have two other blushes I'm currently working on, and this will be adding to the mix. But um, I don't have one in this shade. I have a very pink blush and I have a kind of peachy orange leaning blush, but I don't really have a neutral blush that I'm working on. So yeah, what the heck? I'm bringing this in to work on it for 10 uses. So that is it, you guys. I'm so excited to be working on these three new products and I'm so excited to have one less perfume, one less highlighter and one less lipstick to be working on for the next month. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.